Hello friends. Mean is heavily used to find central tendency. Let us take an example. Say 30 women were examined in a hospital by a doctor and the number of heartbeats per minute were recorded. The result is given here in the table. We need to find the mean heartbeats per minute for these women. The first thing we do when finding mean of group data is finding the class mark because no matter which method you follow class marks will be needed and class mark is equal to upper limit plus lower limit by 2 so for the first row 65 plus 68 by 2 equal to 66.5 for second row 68 plus 71 by 2 equal to 69.5 and so on. Class marks are large value so direct method would be very time consuming. Fi into Xi will come out to be big values and then we need to sum them also. So we need to reduce these values. Let's use the assumed mean method. There are seven classes that is seven rows in the table. Fourth value is the median of the sorted list of these seven values. So we take fourth class mark as the assumed mean A that is A equal to 75.5. Now let's find the value of all the DIs, the deviations. For that we subtract the assumed mean A that is 75.5 from Xi. Now look at the DI table. D1 equal to x1 66.5 minus 75.5 which equal to minus 9 second row 69.5 minus 75.5 which is equal to minus 6 and so on so now look at the di table the values have become very small minus 9 minus 6 minus 3 and so on if we had taken class marks you would have to do 66.5 into 2 69.5 into 4 and so on now the values are very small. Now we multiply di with its respective fi. So for the first row 2 into minus 9 which is equal to minus 18. For the second row 4 into minus 6 which is equal to minus 24 and so on. Now we find the sum of all fi di that is sum of the entire column and that comes to be 12. And we calculate sum of frequencies that is 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 that is equal to 30. So mean of deviations d bar equal to 12 by 30 which is equal to 0.4. So the mean heartbeat rate which is the x bar we wanted to find will be equal to d bar plus assumed mean which is equal to 0.4 plus 75.5 which is equal to 75.9. We round it to 76 as we are talking about heartbeats. So assumed mean method reduced the values and saved us a lot of time while calculating the mean. Bye bye.